Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You join me and Joe, actually, from uh, from Dell Intrepid. You seen Joe? If you're uh, if you're an older subscriber, Joe's not been out for with us for a little while. Uh, it's only a couple of months, I think. But um, yeah, so obviously we've got the ship today. This is my beautiful, beautiful Hydras and my lovely 18 horsepower Tahatchu. Um, we are off, we are in Clacton actually, we're not actually in Clacton, we're a bit further down the road, so we're between Clacton and Jaywick, I think Jaywick's just literally over that corner over there. Um, we're off out on the sip today after some cod, will probably, most definitely, I would have thought be my last cod trip of the year, unless, um, unless somebody up the Humber or the North East Coast buys a, uh, buys a sib anytime soon and I'll be delivering it so I can go fishing. Um, but yeah, so literally, my prop's a bit mullered. We, um, we heard there was a few codling being caught out on the boats. Um, so we thought, well, why not give it a go? It was only yesterday, actually, I was out on my sib as well down at Shoreham. Um, but obviously because um, the weather was good, all right, it's not going to be the nicest of days, and we've got some rain later, but I'm not made of sugar. As you can see, it's flat, flat, calm. Flat, flat, calm. We've got some westerly winds picking up later, but not until about 2, 3 o'clock. They're only going to be about 10 mile an hour. Well, being on the east coast, westerly comes from the west, so it'll be offshore, so it'll be, it'll be quite nice. It shouldn't be a problem. The only problem we have got here is it's very shallow for a good probably 50 or 60 yards here, um, which is a bit of a pain, but it, what can you do? And I don't know of any slipways around here. So if there is anyone in the local area, Clacton, Holland on Sea, Walton on the Nays. Well, Clacton really, I didn't really want to go up to Walton on the Nays because we've got a couple of marks out there we want to fish. Um, I've just been in actually to the local tackle shop because this was a massive spur of the moment trip. Um, and as you guys know, normally I would always use Medway tackle supplies for my bait, my tackle and stuff. Well, not my tackle because I get it off mic, but anyway. I couldn't, it was too late for me to get bait and I had to leave too early this morning to be able to go to my tackle shop and pick it up. So I spoke to Joe and Joe um, Joe said he's got a good friend, Dan, who actually works in the tackle shop up here, Clacton Angling. Um, and they got there a bit early for us and sorted this out. So a massive thank you to them. We only got some commons and things, um, commons and some squid, so that'll do. Um, and we haven't got tons, we've only got four score, a couple of packs of squid. I've got some blacks left over from yesterday, but there's plenty of lugworm here. There's some monster casts. And they're all over this beach, so a bit further up, there's loads of them. Um, I've got a fork in the van, if I'd have known, I probably would have had a gut digging myself, got here a bit earlier. But yeah, so again, thank you to them, thank you to them guys. Um, check out Den, Den's actually got a YouTube channel, he fishes up this way, and I've, I, to be honest, if I'm honest, I haven't actually seen it, because I didn't know anything about it until Joe told me. Um, but it's called Clacton Angling, um, and I'm pretty certain he does videos around here, he goes up the North East Coast, so it sounds to me like he does a lot of cod fishing and stuff, so it's one to check out, give him a watch guys. Um, and he's, he is coming out on a boat later, but on a, on a charter boat, I think, or a, or a private boat. Um, so we might we might see him later on, we might not. Um, but as you can see, the tide is flying, flying in. Um, no special tactics today, I'll just be using the normal running leisure like I normally do. Probably some 3 or 4 0 sea glow hooks, cut hose, because that's what I've got. Um, what else is there? That's about it. I think the mark we're going to is probably about 3 miles off. Um, then gave us a few marks but he did also say that he's been getting quite a few codling off the beach so I don't know we'll see how it feels out there because it's somewhere I've never been before um, and you know it's all about being safe and not being stupid there's no point in going rushing out there and, um, and getting stuck or anything so again not that I'm not that I'm any I've got any worries about about my uh, myself or the boat or anything I don't know it's just somewhere you've never been before you've got to be a little bit a little bit savvy and then I've got to um, get my boat out tonight and give it a bloody good clean down because it's been used two days in a row now and she's filthy. Not only that, I need to sort out... I mean, look at it. Joe's got a tackle box, I've got a tackle box. I've got a bag, Joe's got a bag. Like, all right, the anchor we need, the fuel tank we need. But I need to figure out a way of having everything, everything, all of us need in one place. Like I've got a big call box that I want to put between the tubes and I think that's going to be, that's going to be the crack and that's how it's going to be. Um, I ain't done that thing up. But yeah, I need to do it really when I'm at home. There's no point in trying to do it when you're on the beach and want to go fishing because you're wasting time. But yeah, as you can see, my alley deck's now covered in sand and it's filthy. Ugh. Right, anyway, I'm jabbering on, so what I'll do, ladies and gentlemen, is I'll see you when we get there. Joe's on his way back down the beach now. Can we zoom in and see Joe? 
can see our tracks that are walking down the beach. Here he comes. Again, don't forget to check out Joe's channel, Dell Intrepid. Um, I think most of you already have, to be fair, but he's uh, he's looking to he's looking to be possibly moving to Cornwall this year. So possibly, um, and if he does, then obviously his channel will, will fly off because, well, if you live in Cornwall and you've got a fishing channel, it's easy, isn't it? Really, there's plenty of fish all year round, loads of different species. Um, it's when you live in the southeast and you've got to travel miles and miles and miles every day. Right, I'll see you on the water. What's happening, people? First shot, first codling. Happy days. It's only small, but it is, it is exactly what we came for. Give me a lovely bite, up tired, slack line, drop down. Beautiful, perfect codling bite. Look at that little fella. Quite, he's in quite good shape as well. He is in quite good shape. Oh, I'm buzzing with that. Absolutely buzzing. First fish, you've got a bite on the other one as well. That was going absolutely off his tits. Slipping back. Bye, mate. Gone. There's a good bit of tide run here. Um, we haven't actually come out to the marks where, where Den showed us, because it's still quite a way. And I, I found some other marks on my Navionics as I was on my way, and I thought, you know what, let's give this a go. Well, how long have we been fishing, Joe? 10 minutes? Yeah, not even that. 10 minutes, and uh, we've both been getting bites. Um, the other rod did have something on it. That was just on the straight blacks that I got yesterday. Um, no, it wasn't. That was squid. There was a whole squid on that one, then blacks. What, on that one? Oh, yeah, there was a whole squid on this with, okay. with, uh, with a black lark. So I think I'll bang a squid on it and send it. Happy days. Nice one. We'll bring it back. This one feels like a better one. This is literally just after I put that little one back. I've rebaited. This could be a skate. If not, it's a nice codling. What should be a dog now? Look, maybe look like a right squat. <laughs> It's always going to feel a bit better in this tide run. Oh, hello. What have we got? It's a cod. It's a beautiful it's cod. It's not massive, again, but it's bigger. Cod number two, well, codlin number two. Nice. Oh, I'm calling it a cod, I don't care. It's <laughs> nowhere near a cod, but I don't care. There's none of that codlin nonsense today. Do you know what, in Clacton, the ones I catch normally, this one's not in as good condition, it's got all things all over its fins. They're, um, they're very light in colour. The ones we get down at Chesil and that, and they're darker, and the ones we get up north are darker. But in this dirty water, they just seem to be quite light. Beautiful, thank you, dude. Right, get it unhooked, get it back, go again. Well, what's happening, everyone? I brought you back for a bit. Um, it's died a death, isn't it, Joe? It has, mate, yeah. We had two, two, I had two cod in almost straight away, which was like, oh, lovely, we're in, for, we're, we're in for the thing. An hour went past. I had a white in, two white in. Joe had a white in and a dogfish. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, it, yeah, just so we had a little bit of a move. Um, we moved, dropped the anchor down, and w within ten minutes we realised there was something wrong. We was dragging anchor because the chain was wrapped around it, so it's just causing it to pull out from the top end. Um, so we dragged it in re-anchored the boat um, on, a, on a different spot a bit deeper um, we sat there for 40 minutes not even a touch so we've moved again I've actually found a mark on my Navionics called Rays just off of Clacton um, anyone who's got Navionics will be able to see that um, so we're literally we're just sitting here now um, we're going to give it a go we've got squid we ain't got no ray baits but I mean if we pick up a form back ray Joe will be happy with it yeah. um, I mean I'm not out here fishing for rays I certainly wouldn't travel this far for rays but um, up to be honest, anything that's not a white or a dogfish, I suppose, I'll take. Um, still hopeful for a, for a codlin. Um, there's a charter boat down there. Yeah, well, maybe you can see it. Charter boat. I'm pretty certain it's Dong Tide 2, which has got a well-known charter boat. I think he does all right. Um, and he hasn't moved from that spot. And we're sort of on the same sort of line, if you like. Um, so he must be catching some fish there. And looking on the Navionics, it looks like he's over some rocks. I probably shouldn't be telling everyone this, where his fishing marks are. But, well, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. It, when we when we went past, when we came out, we went round the back of the boat because we've sort of launched from that direction instead of there. Um, there was only three anglers on board by the looks of it. So um, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll find a few fish here. We, to be honest, we've still got the paper fell through. Still all them lug. That's still the first score of lug. So we ain't we ain't really used hardly any, which means Joe's gonna have to go fishing again tomorrow. Well, I've got to do adult stuff tomorrow and go and do some work. Otherwise, trust me, I'd, I'd be back out myself too, 100%. Not on the boat, because the weather's not that great, but got to get some beach fishing done, because I know you guys like, some of you like the beach, some of you like the boat. I know there's obviously a lot more people on there that like the beach, but um, like I said, this year we're going to try and, try and get as much in as possible. 
Um, and again, today was one of them. It, it, today was one of them spur the moment trips. If I had more time, I'd um, I'd be taking the boat back at high water and getting the beach gear out because I know the beaches up here fish normally. Well, when I used to fish up this way, normally we'll fish two hours after high water. Um, the first sort of two hours of the year would be the best time. I don't know if it's still the case, but um, Dan, who we were talking to earlier, said he's had a few cod in off the shore this year, quite a few. So he's actually on his way out here. He'll be out here on a boat soon. We're just waiting for him to come up and come past us. But we're probably only going to have about another hour and a half, and then we want to we want to get back in for high water because it was a long way to drag the boat. Um, and obviously with Joe's illness that he's had, he's not he's not the strongest, bless him. Um, and and I'm just fat, so it just makes life hard work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll find a few more fish and, and when and if we do, I shall bring you back. Bit of live, bit of live reeling in action here from Joe. Bite well is that a bite on the other rod or is that you reeling in your line? Let's hope it's not because it looks like to me you are. Yeah, you are. There's a dogfish. And some weird, no, it wasn't. My one was just really, really dark. Oh. They're dark colours though. They're actually quite pretty fish for dogfish, I know. But they are, right, lads, I need to help, I need to help Joe. Look at, <laughs> look at the kerfuffle he's in here. What's <laughs> happening, people? So I'm getting some bites on this. I don't think it's anything decent. What is it, Joe? There's a bite on the other rod as well. It's a white. That's a funny bite on that rod. What's going on with that? Yeah, it's a white. <laughs> <laughs> It's the smallest one of the day and all. It is. We have actually had some, oh, I don't want to say it again, I said it yesterday, but like, we've had some, like, we've had some decent sized whiting today, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, ones like that, I mean, oh man, he's got a bit of a gut on him, hasn't he? But I suppose so have I. They're eating well. Yeah, they are. My bloody lug. Our lug. Um, but yeah, I mean, it hasn't been a bad day. We came out after some codling and we've had some. Well, I, have. I still really want Joe to get one or two, but um, I think we've probably got about an hour left. The weather is, um, I don't know, I, I, I'll, I'm going to say deteriorating slightly, but I've just checked the weather on the old uh, app and it did say that it's going to get, um, the wind's going to pick up within the next hour, so we'll see. We're not far from shore. Literally, and with this new engine, we're probably 10 minutes, if that. So, um, we'll just blast through it, but... We'll have to see. We will have to see. Right, I'll, um, I'll bring you back. Sorry, people. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm into a bit of a better fish. I don't know what it is. There is a cod. Oh, yes! That's a fantastic That's cod, That's much mate. better, that one. Much better. I thought it was going to be a dog. Come here, you bastard. Sorry, it's swearing. That's what we like to see, guys. That's what we like to see. Taking the bait right down and all, yeah, that's, that's, it's full up with crab. <laughs> full up with crab. Happy days. Oh, I'm still glad Joe ain't got one. You know, I said we might have 10 minutes. Cool, mate, that was a whole squid, yeah? Let's have another, well, a little bit of luck, but yeah, yeah, squid, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have another 10 minutes. Well, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I might have another 10 minutes. That's definitely the biggest one of the day, so I'll take that. Nice. That's at least 18 pound. At least. Hang on, let me. Oh, if I put it closer, then I'll hold it back here. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What a lovely fish. Definitely, well, obviously the biggest of the day. Well, I'm going to get this get some pictures. I think Joe might even be eating this one. I will be. In a bit. Certainly, people. Well, obviously, I'm not on the boat, and I forgot to do an outro like I normally do. So um, I'm actually sitting in my living room doing my outro. Thank you all for watching. Um, we did actually miss a little codling um, that we didn't film. Joe had it, and it was like white in size, um, which was a shame because Joe did eventually get a codling. So yeah, although it wasn't one of the one of the best days out, it was nice to go out and get some codling. Um, it was nice to go out and get some codling on the sib. So I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, now, I put up a link in the last video, my last SIB video that I put up the other day um, for the website, for the hydrus, for, for anything inflatable boat, anything you in, could be interested in. Well, apparently that link's not working. I'll put the link in the description of this video, but if, if you did want to have a look on the website, then just go on Google, on your phone, on your internet, on, on your laptop, whatever, on your computer, and just type in inflatable boat fishing on Google, and um, 
it, it will be the, the first website you come to inflatable boat fishing you'll, you'll see the logo ibf um you'll see a picture of a, a couple of men on a boat whatever it is and that is the first one so if the if the link's not working for you just just do that if you're obviously if you're interested in going have a look um but yeah that'll probably be it now for the sib for a couple of weeks just because the weather next week's looking pretty pretty pants and again i know a lot of people watch the watch my videos for the shore fishing but um, this year I'm going to try and get out a bit more on the sib. In fact, I'm going to try and do some trips this year, like North Wales and things. Um, I really want to get up there. And the plan will be, just because of the, obviously with the cost of everything and life and diesel and stuff, if I'm going up there, I'll be doing sort of two days. So I'll do, try and get two days good weather, get out on the sib for two, for the two days, uh, make a couple of videos and then do a night, during the night on the shore. Um, not just obviously North Wales and going to try and get down to Cornwall this year and Devon and just fish some places I haven't fished um, as you know if you've watched my channel we've been right up to Scotland we've done um, we've done South Wales West Wales we've done the East Coast North East Coast um, loads on the South Coast from Chesil all the way back to well all the way back to Kent really um, so this year I want to try and visit some places that I've never been to uh, it's just going to be a case of um, waiting for the right tides the right weather um, try and do a bit more planning this year with the videos rather than just going oh yeah there's some fish there let's go um but then getting the tides wrong getting the weather wrong um i've got to make it work properly this year and and think about it and not just think i want to go fishing and just go and it it just be half arsed if that makes sense um so yeah thanks again for watching if you haven't subscribed please please do it's free it doesn't cost you anything um and if you can give us a thumbs up see you on the next one cheers everyone